Hi everybody, this is Amanda with Allied Instructional Services. I want to show you how you can toggle between having that virtual PC cursor on and off to either use JAWS commands or use Google commands to navigate and complete things in Gmail. Most of the time my students prefer to just pull up the list of links or headings or elements to do things in Google and not turn their cursor off and use the jaw uh, the Google commands, but that's always an option. So in order to use Google commands, the virtual PC cursor has to be off. And then when you want to use JAWS commands, the virtual PC cursor has to be on. So I'm going to turn on my speech settings and we're going to see which cursor I've got going on here. Google speech. Okay, so I'm going to hit caps lock Z to toggle. Let's 81%. Into Inbox left parent one right parent dash my document dot here. Okay. Use virtual PC cursor on. So I hit caps lock Z. The cursor is on. At this point, I can only navigate using like the tab, the quick keys, the element lists, the headings list, and the links list, right? So if I turn the cursor off. Use virtual PC cursor off. I could do something like hit C for compose. C compose colon new message dialog. Compose then once. Colon once my message is open, I can send an email. I, type, I don't have anybody in this test email account, but I could type in a name. I could subject tab to the edit. subject, type in the message. subject, get into the body of the email, type in an email. Send. I could either tab to send, or I could press control enter. Control enter. To end. Message bot, control enter. Error. So when I'm focused on the send button, I can't hit control enter, but if in the body of the text, the actual email, then I could press control enter. Right, so I um, didn't type anything in there, so I got an Escape. error. Compose colon new message dialog. Okay, Compose. you can also tab into the different font settings, the um, attachments, the emojis, adding from Drive, trash, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to hit Escape. Escape. To navigate to different boxes or files or folders in your um, Gmail account, you would do two-part commands like G and then D to go to drafts. G and then I to go to inbox, G and then T to go to sent. Okay, so we're already in the inbox. So I'm just going to show you like G to T for um, going to sent box. G, T, main region, no sent okay. message. Now I'm going to go back to the inbox. G, I, main region, okay. primary tab panel. Now, you can still hit tab. Content in terms, link, privacy, link, and it's going to move you details, side. around your screen, right? So you can still. Home. Um, do any of those different things that you want to do. At any point in time, you can caps lock Use Z virtual. to turn your virtual cursor back on and see where we are. Panel, so we're button. kind of down there at that side panel button. So I'm going to Alt D to go back to the address bar and then tab in. Alt D, basic HTML, skip the content link. So I'm going to skip to the content. Enter main region, conversations heading level two. So I'm in conversations level heading two. Let's just see what that means. Heading level three tab select. Heading level three tab social. Heading level three tab grid with seven columns and. So I just arrowed down from when I got to the main content and went through the primary box, the social box, the promotion box. Those are level three headings, and then it said that I was in a table. When you're in a table, you can do a variety of different things to primary navigate. Tab, content in table column so two row one. When I hit oops, table column, let's tab. go back. Table, column two, row one, primary, column four, row one. When I get into that table the first time, if I hit Testing, arrows new, to the right, sun. it's just going to move me through that row. And then I hit Sat. down. Important and I can Google. Google. move through. It's not a very efficient way of navigating in the table, right? So if we tab. go backwards Promo to promotions. Table, column two, row two, primary tab, panel, grid, Google. And, table, Google and then arrow key, down without pressing up. the right and left arrow. Google important policy unread. Google. It will tell you the sender's name and then the message and then the date of the, the email. So if you are not sure where you want to go or you have um, emails from a bunch of Amandas, right? You just want to go through it in a different way. You can hit that left and right arrow when you first get into the table or if you arrow up and down. You can navigate through your inbox that way. There are so many different ways that you can navigate inside of Gmail. And to do a video on that would take so much time. So I just wanted to kind of show you. You can press T for table to get into your table and then arrow up and down to go through your emails. You can also go to the search box by pressing E for edit field. E, no conversation. E, no con e, oh. no conversation. So we're in our table. We have to leave our table. Tab. Promote e, table, column two, row one, <laughs> primary tab.
I pressed E and it took me into the table. That's really weird. Um, you could, uh, you know, go to the top and then tab Enable into your desktop. search um, button. I got an alert that started speaking, so I hit control. You can also pull up a list of your forms Select fields, right? Form field. This is how my students usually, they don't like toggling their virtual PC cursor off. They would much rather pull up a form field and press C, C compose for compose. Enter. Compose button to activate, press enter. Compose when you hit button. When you hit enter the first time, it focuses, and then you hit enter again to activate it. Enter. Compose colon new message. Then you can type your person's name in. Subject edit. Type, type in text. the subject. Message body. Type in your body. Send. And then hit send. So it's pretty much the same process. Instead of just pressing, turning off your virtual PC cursor, pressing C for compose, and then going through that steps. Instead, you keep that per PC cursor on. You caps lock F5 to open up your elements. Press C for compose, and then it's the same process. So it's not like turning the virtual PC cursor off in that instance is going to save you a lot of time. The time that it does, or the, the when it does save you time, is when you're trying to navigate to different inboxes and when you're trying to go through different parts of um, conversation. So if I had a multi conversation in this email account and I had my PC cursor off, I could press N and P to go for the next part of the conversation or the previous part of the conversation. N is for next and P is for previous. So there are times definitely when turning that virtual PC cursor off is a little bit easier to use the Google commands, but it's definitely possible to do everything that you need to do as long as you have um, played around with and understood how to get to the different regions in Gmail and how to use those form fields to get to different buttons that you want to get to or if what you're looking for is a link or if it's a heading or that sort of thing. So uh, my best recommendation for using Gmail is to sit down with your student together, look at all the different approaches for navigating the internet that you both know, come up with a system that works. Don't just memorize a list of keyboard strokes to do what you want to do. Really think about the concepts that are in play and what system makes sense um, to do things efficiently for your student. Hopefully this helps a little bit with how you might use Gmail with JAWS. Keep in mind that before any of these things will work, you need to enable your keyboard commands in the settings like in the previous video. Hopefully this helps and you can use this in your practice.